Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is an Emmy, Grammy, and Tony Award winning actor and singer. Next week, she'll be headlining the Stonewall Day concert here in New York City. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Cynthia Erivo. Nice to see you again. You too, it's always lovely to have you on. Thank you. Um, now, for some people, I'm sure many people are, already know this, but you are going to be playing the part of Alphaba in the new movie of Wicked that That's comes right. out this November. This yes. Thanksgiving. <laughs> which I want to which I want to talk about. Uh -huh. Which I want to talk about in in just a moment. But the what just happened on Sunday night is that you presented with the original Alphaba, yes, Idina yeah. Menzel, at the Tony Awards yeah. here in New York City, <laughs> and she. This is actually a really lovely moment. She took a moment to, to say this. I'm just going to go off the script real quick to say how excited I am to see what I know is going to be an am amazing performance in that movie that you're doing. I love you. And I just, I just want to say green girl power. Green girl power, indeed. <laughs> Had you guys talked about Alphaba or Wicked before that moment? No. So that you saw, like, five-year-old Cynthia come out and be like... <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thank you very much. I couldn't. I didn't know what to say, which is why the only thing that came out of my mouth was, "I love you." <laughs> That's all I could think Go of to say. Go with what you know. Like, Go right. with what you know. Uh, how many Tonys have you been to now? Oh, that's about number seven or something. Okay. I think it, I, the... Is it still fun? Is it still I love sort of it. dazzling? Yeah. It's one of my favorites. I think there's something really special about this particular sh show, this particular uh, award ceremony, because everyone's so uh, in community. Mm -hmm. I love it. It makes me very happy. The Broadway community is very close to yes. it. It's actually a small group of theaters. Yes, yes, yes. Um, now, you're heading back to the theater, heading back to Broadway, actually, at Lincoln Center, mm -hmm. OK? Starting <laughs> next week, performing in a production of Stephen Sondheim's A Little Night Music. Yeah. That's exciting for those of us who are fans of you and fans of Sondheim right. at the same time. What, well, what was your introduction to Sondheim? Uh, being Alive was probably like the gateway. From company. <laughs> for me, from, from company. company, yeah. When did I, you hear that? Like, how old were you? I want to say it was about ooh, 17 or 18. Yeah, yeah. Before I'd seen the show. And then yeah. I, uh, a wonderful friend of mine, Adrian Lester, played Bobby uh, in the uh, Donmar uh, Warehouse production of it. And I had sneaked a preview of it on, on YouTube, which I was not supposed to do. Don't do that. <laughs> but I loved it. And I, and I had fallen in love with the, with the music that way, yeah. Do you, have a, do you have a favorite Sondheim lyric? Because the music is beautiful, yes. but the lyrics are extraordinary. Yes. What, what is it? Do you mind if I ask? Should I, do you want to sing it to you? Well, please, okay. if you would sing it, that would be even better. Sometimes I stand in the middle of the floor, not going left, not going right. I dim the lights and think about you. Spend sleepless nights and think about you. You said you loved me, or were you just being kind? Or am I losing my mind? <laughs> 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 now, uh, as I uh, as I said, here you are, here you are as Alphaba. This is coming out, coming out of Thanksgiving, alongside Ariana Grande, yeah. who is playing Glinda. Um, what was it like working together? Had you guys done anything together before this? Uh, no, that was the first time we'd done something together. Um, and honestly, it's got it's gotten beyond a working relationship. She's like my little my little sister. Mm -hmm. um, there's just, she's just a really singular special being. Mm -hmm. uh, and we seem to have just like found this kismet space for one another and working with her was, was a dream just because we really just understood what we both needed in order to, to play these characters, to do this film. And I'm lucky because I feel like I've wandered away with, with a person who I love for life, yeah. 
What? How long have you been working on this? Because this is this is not this is not one week. This is two. Two weeks, the first yeah. one comes out in November. Yeah. How long has this process been? It's about been about a year. We worked on it for about a year. That's a uh, long time. Currently, yeah. Doing a movie together. Yeah. Um, I understand that you make a playlist. Yes. For yourself. I do. Four characters <laughs> that you're going to portray. Yeah. I'm curious. What's what's <laughs> what's Elphaba's Playlist and is it <laughs> you to get into that character or do you get in character to choose the music? I, I so I, I think I get in the mindset of the character to choose the music and then I use the music to access the character every day, right? Mm -hmm. So I listen to it on the way to work. So I make it and listen to it on the way to work. It's, it's sort of representative of this person's personality and mm -hmm. who she is. Who do you got? What do you got on there? So I've got some Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some Beyonce. I have some Doja Cat. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> I have some Snow Allegra. I have, there's a really wonderful artist called Quabs on there. Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, a couple songs that I couldn't say the lyrics of, because... Because <laughs> this is a family show? It's a family show. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, you know, I sort of messed around with like her, her rage and her, in, you know, insecurity and her love and all of those things. So I tried to make a really varied playlist of who the, the person is to listen to. So after like doing that work and spending so time, so much time with Alphaba mm. at this point, um, what 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 what's your kindred spirit with her? Where where are you guys connecting? I think Alphaba has this wonderful way of having to reconcile with all of the pieces of herself. Mm. I think it, when you meet her, she's trying so hard to. To fit, she knows that she's she doesn't fit, but she tries her best to fit in with people, and and she tries to hide some of the things that make her special. And by by the end, she sort of discovers all that she is. And I think that's the thing that I realize that you can only really give yourself fully if you are okay with who you are completely. Mm. Yeah. Well. You're, 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 you're headlining the Stonewall Day concert on Pride Weekend, June yes. 28th. Yeah. Happy and, Pride, everyone. And <laughs> I'm just curious, <laughs> what, what does Pride and Pride Weekend or yeah. Pride Month mean to Cynthia Rivo in 2024? I think there's a wonderful thing about Pride um, in the celebrations that take place all over the country. But I think, for me, Pride is a reminder to everyone that we, we, when we come together and we fight for each other's rights, that's when things get done. And it's also to, to remind us that there are people who came before us who also were fighting. Um, and also, for me particularly, there are so many young people who don't see themselves and who are seeking for people to see themselves in. And Pride is a reminder to be that, to be out loud, to be yourselves fully so that young people who don't see themselves get to see uh, mirror images of themselves. Too. Cynthia, thank you so much for being here. It's always lovely. Thank you. you can catch Cynthia Revo performing at the Stonewall Day concert here in New York City on Friday, June 28th. Cynthia Revo, everybody. We'll be right back with Congressman Jamal Bowman.